Stuck inside her house, five-year-old Autumn Ferguson is in isolation while she awaits surgery to repair her throat. Seven weeks ago, the little girl went to a dental clinic to get some teeth pulled and left in an ambulance on life support. She was touch and go, so it was substantial enough that we almost lost her. We didn't know if she was going to be brain dead or not because of lack of oxygen. I was in shock, like I didn't break down, I was just in shock. Autumn was put under general anesthesia at this private dental surgery clinic for children. After surgery in the recovery room, high pressure oxygen was blasted directly into her breathing tube. It caused her lungs to act almost like a balloon. They just inflated and then they popped. In a recorded phone conversation, an anesthesiologist from the clinic who investigated what went wrong apologized to Autumn's father. From our standpoint, um, there was a mistake made. You know, it was a pretty scary situation for about two minutes in the recovery room when this first happened. Once we, we took her back into the operating room and she stabilized very, very, very quickly. That wasn't the case for this Edmonton girl three years ago. She suffered brain damage under general anesthesia at a dental clinic. There was poor supervision and slow resuscitation. So I don't think this is a question of whether the event occurred in hospital or out of hospital. This dental anesthesiologist and dentistry professor says human errors can happen anywhere, but that studies in Ontario show the odds of serious injury during deep sedation in a dental clinic are about one in four million. So these are very rare events and the public should really be reassured that there's a lot of great care happening in out of hospital environments. Yeah. With no set date for Autumn's throat surgery, the little girl must stay at home, desperately wishing she could start kindergarten. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.